What is Lido Finance and should you invest in the LDO token? We will be answering these questions in this video. So stick around and watch this video till the end. Hi everyone, welcome to Coin Sutra. My name is Digan Chadha and today we have brought a research report for one of the best taking platforms in the market that is Lido Finance. Now, let us get something straight. Please note that this video is for educational purposes only. I am not a financial advisor and this is not a financial advice. Please consult your financial advisor before making any investment decision. On Coin Sutra, we share videos related to the best crypto projects, exchanges and wallets to help you navigate through the crypto wars. If this is something you are interested in, then click on subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. To help you save time and navigate through this video, we have created a timeline. Feel free to jump around to any section that interests you. I would suggest to watch the complete video for the first time. In recent months, the staking of crypto assets as a source of passive income has picked up a lot of interest amongst investors. And now, staking as a service has become so big that it is considered as a separate industry. This is further expected to increase at a substantial rate. Based on a report issued by JP Morgan, the staking industry currently generates a revenue of $9 billion in a year, which is expected to grow up to $40 billion by 2025. And the core reason behind this is anticipated to be the Ethereum network update from proof of work to proof of stake consensus mechanism. As an investor, there are many ways to stake your assets. The most direct method of staking is to run a validator node. However, this method has several limitations. For example, to run an Ethereum validator node, you need at least 32 ETH to stake on the network, a computer system with a high quality CPU, operational knowledge to run a validator node, and an approval is required from the network which already has a long waiting list. A normal investor may not have this big infrastructure or technical knowledge to run a validator node. Therefore, the next best alternative is a reliable staking service that can resolve these issues. A staking service provider would run a validator node on your behalf and let you stake your assets on the network. In exchange for their services, they would take a part of your staking rewards. So, staking your assets through a staking service is the easiest method from the point of accessibility and ease of use. Further, many service providers offer staking services and can be broadly categorized as centralized staking and decentralized staking service providers. Centralized staking service providers are the most popular ones and include Coinbase, Kraken and Binance where you can stake your assets with one click on the network through operator nodes owned by the exchange. However, the biggest limitation of these providers is that these exchanges have a complete custody of your crypto assets which means that you may lose all your assets in case there is any security breach on these exchanges. Therefore, a better and more reliable method is through a decentralized staking service protocol. That's exactly what we will discuss today, where you can stake your crypto assets in a non-custodial and decentralized way that is secure, reliable and would mostly pay you better staking rewards. Lido Finance is that liquid self-staking service protocol. So let us dive into the project and understand what it is all about. Lido Finance is a liquid self-staking protocol that allows users to stake their crypto assets on a proof-of-stake blockchain network in a non-custodial way and simultaneously maintain the liquidity of their funds. For example, when you deposit your ETH on Lido Finance, it is sent to Lido's staking contracts. These staking contracts pool together users' funds and distribute them to the node operators. Please note that node operators don't have custody of your funds and thus the protocol is designed to maintain a non-custodial infrastructure. Further, anytime you stake your crypto assets on Lido, you get a derivative token in a 1 is to 1 ratio. For example, when you stake your ETH tokens, you get an equivalent amount of ST ETH tokens which is like a receipt of your ETH tokens being staked on the network. Now, you can use these ST ETH tokens for many purposes such as you can provide liquidity to the ST ETH liquidity pool on Curve and earn rewards. You can deposit ST ETH on Yearn Finance to maximize your yield. You can lend your ST ETH on Aave and earn interest on it. And you can sell your ST ETH on One Inch Exchange and many more. This means that staking through Lido Finance is better 
because number one, it is safer than exchanges as it is a non-custodial form of staking. Number two, it provides you more liquidity as you can use the derivative tokens on various DeFi protocols. Number three, you don't need 32 ETH. You can stake on the network with any amount. Therefore, it is open to the small investors as well. And last, cross-chain DeFi protocols can also be explored. For example, you can exchange your ST ETH with BETH, which is a derivative token on Terra network, and use it on Terra-based platforms such as Anchor Protocol. Now, let us understand the components of Lido Finance. The first is Lido DAO. DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization that manages the decision-making process of the protocol through the voting power of governance tokens. This keeps a platform decentralized to an extent and allows them to operate without a central authority. The Lido DAO was initiated by many reputable members as follows. Recently, the platform has raised a $73 million funding from Paradigm. Further, Lido DAO is governed by its in-house governance token, LDO. This means that LDO token holders need to lock their tokens in a voting contract to vote on any proposal under consideration. The next component is the service that Lido offers, that is staking service. The funds you stake are kept in a non-custodial way. Additionally, to provide you liquidity, the protocol issues you a derivative token such as STETH or BLUNA. For this service, Lido charges 10% of the staking rewards as a fee. This is the only revenue model of the platform. Currently, the biggest staking service offered by Lido is for Ethereum 2.0 network, which allows you to stake your ETH tokens. Out of the total ETH staked on the Ethereum network, 14.28% of tokens are staked through Lido Finance, which is substantial. At the moment, Lido offers staking services for two tokens, ETH and Luna through Anchor Protocol. To help you understand how to stake your ETH through Lido, Harsh has made complete tutorials for you guys. Make sure you watch them after this video. The next component is the derivative token. As discussed, every time you stake a crypto asset on Lido, you receive a derivative token in a 1 is to 1 ratio. So, if you stake ETH token, you would receive ST ETH, and if you stake Luna on Anchor Protocol, you will receive B Luna. Now, these derivative tokens have a number of use cases and literally opens a Pandora box for you. Currently, Lido has integrated with the number of DeFi applications to develop use cases of ST ETH and B Luna. These use cases and compatible applications would increase as more blockchain networks will be integrated on the platform. The next and the most important component for investment purposes is the in-house governance token of Lido, that is LDO. LDO is the backbone of Lido DAO which ultimately governs and maintains the platform. Further. LDO token can be deposited on liquidity pools on one inch exchange and sushi swap exchange to earn additional income. The token has a maximum supply of 1 billion with a circulating supply of 24.5 million, which is just 2.5% of the total supply. The token allocation is divided into two parts where approximately 64% of the total supply is distributed to the founders, employees, developers, and the early participants of the platform. At the time of issue, the 64% was logged for one year and these will be unlocked with effect from 17 December 2021 with a vesting period of one year. Once these tokens are vested, a substantial supply of tokens would be available in the market and could affect the token's price significantly. The balance 36% of supply was allocated to the DAO treasury. There is no pre-decided schedule as to how these tokens would be issued in the market. It is all dependent on the decision made by DAO. The last component in the list is the security of the platform and insurance against possible losses. Lido Finance is a fairly secure platform because of DAO-based governance model, non-custodial staking service, and continuous smart contracts audit. Further, to ensure a leak-proof protocol, Lido Finance also has a bug bounty program on Immunify with a maximum bounty of $100,000. Through this program, you are rewarded for finding a vulnerability in the project, thus keeping the platform safe in the long run. Further, Lido Finance has insurance against the slashing penalties imposed by the platform if the node operator misbehaves on the network. This insurance has been taken from unslashed.finance to cover up to 5% of slashing penalties. Now, let us conclude how fundamentally strong Lido Finance is and whether you should invest in the LDO token. 
Staking as a service has already grown many folds in the last few months and will increase in the future at a substantial rate. Currently, this industry is dominated by centralized crypto exchanges such as Coinbase, Kraken and Binance. However, to sustain and facilitate this growth, we needed a decentralized, non-custodial liquid staking platform and Lido Finance fulfills all these features on our checklist. Lido Finance provides precisely the same services with better security and custody of funds. In addition to this, Lido Finance offers liquidity to a staker by issuing a derivative token that can be used on various DeFi platforms. The platform has already built a market share of 14.28% in each staking, which is phenomenal. More networks such as Solana, Aave, Polkadot, Kusama and Polygon are in the pipeline. This can possibly make Lido Finance a one-stop solution for all staking and DeFi platforms. However, we have a caveat to add when it comes to the economy of the LDO token. As discussed earlier, 64% of the total token supply would be unlocked with effect from 17 December 2021 and onwards. Further, there is an additional vesting period of 12 months on the supply. This means that with effect from 17 December 2022, there is a possibility of a substantial supply of tokens in the market which can significantly affect the price of the token. We as CoinSutra like this project and already have a position in the LDO token. The token is in a price discovery mode for at least next 12 to 18 months and therefore we suggest you to wait and watch this token at the moment. If you liked our analysis then please like this video and share it as much as possible. If you have some questions regarding Lido Finance then let us know in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.